In episode 4 of The Brother's Son, things take a dark and bloody turn. Sleepy Chan arrives in LA4 Square, agreeing to all of Charles's terms with the sole condition that Sun Tai Tai will not attend the square. However, the meeting goes horribly wrong when assassins from the Red Ribbon Gang infiltrate the spa and brutally kill Sleepy Chan. Charles and Drowsy do their utmost to fight off the assassins, but a hand grenade explosion takes Drowsy's life and leaves Charles with a concussion. At the start of episode 5, Charles regains consciousness and is surprised to find himself in Alexis' house, who picked him up while he was trying to escape the spa. Once again, Alexis presses Charles for information about what's going on and the connection to the assassins with red ribbons, but Charles refuses to share anything. Alexis reveals that Charles isn't the only one targeted by the assassins, as a couple of them attempt to kill her in the parking lot earlier point 12. 059. Desperate to contact his family, Charles tries to leave to retrieve his phone from the Caspa, but Alexis pleads with him to stay and recover while she retrieves his phone for him. Charles is convinced that the Caspa massacre wasn't a coincidence, but premeditated. Someone tipped off the gang that a square was going to be held in the spa. Meanwhile, Blood Boots and Mama Sun ride together to find someone who can give them information about the Red Ribbon Gang. Little does she know, it is her that the Red Ribbon Gang wants. Before Sleepy Chan's death, he revealed to Bruce that the Red Ribbon Gang is after Lulu, which translates to Rolodex, Mama Sun's nickname. Surprisingly, Mama Sun was their target all along. Mama Sun, wanting to know more about the gang, questions her contact, Hong, but the man betrays her, handing her over to the Red Ribbon Gang members. 